In Minneapolis today, the judge in the George Floyd case ruled that prosecutors have proved their argument that former police officer Derek Chauvin acted with particular cruelty in Floyd's murder, that there were aggravating factors that will allow for an even tougher sentence when Chauvin's punishment is announced at the end of next month. Some legal experts are predicting he could receive as much as 40 years in prison. Meantime, the lead attorney for George Floyd's family was here in Corpus Christi today, Ben Crump, who also represents Breonna Taylor's family and many others who've been in similar situations, was here to speak to local attorneys and dignitaries at this Law Day luncheon at the Ortiz Center downtown. Crump's visit was arranged and sponsored by local friend and frequent legal partner, attorney Bob Hilliard. Following his fiery lunchtime speech in which he urged his audience to stand up to injustice, Crump sat down with me for a one-on-one -on -one interview, talking first about the judge's ruling today in the George Floyd case. It was expected that the judge would take seriously the factors surrounding former police officer Derek Chauvin's torture and George Floyd to death. And so his family was very gratified to find out that the judge ruled that those aggravating factors would be relevant to the sentencing of Derek Chauvin. What do you expect in terms of the sentencing? You know, I've been asked that question many times. And what I hope is that Derek Chauvin will be sentenced to whatever George Floyd would have been sentenced to if the roles were reversed. Because this is still a quest for equal justice under the law, no matter who you are. Do we know yet if justice has been served in this case? Well, I think it has partly been served. The thing that is encouraging about uh, the consequences that resulted from the death of George Floyd on May 25th, 2020, is that I pray this will be a new precedent in America as we continue to endeavor for liberty and justice fall. Well, I, that really leads into what I was going to ask you next, and, and that has to do with whether a positive difference will have been made as a result of this guilty verdict in terms of the way police officers treat people of color. Well, I pray that this will have a lasting impact, not just on police officers, but on society as a whole when we deal with all forms of systemic racism, whether that's in banking, whether that's in education or environmental matters. I know Attorney Bob Hilliard and I work all around the country trying to address this systemic racism to make a better America for all our children. How would you, how would you respond to those who would say, look, um, I've heard you and others talk about systemic racism in this country, and yet <clears throat> we elected Barack Obama. We did that. A majority of the country apparently was colorblind in that decision. So, I mean, sure, there are pockets of racism, but is it really that widespread? Racism permeates every aspect of American society. America is so entrenched in uh, our racist history that even when we protest racism, people think that we're protesting America. And that's what we have to continue to do to say, it's not just about one or two people making it and enjoying the American dream. It's about all of our children having an equal opportunity at achieving the American dream. Well, one of Crump's messages kind of stuck with me today. He said, voices matter and silence is betrayal that our children are watching, that they can tell if we really mean it when we say we believe in equality and justice for everyone. By the way, the Corpus Christi Bar Association selected Bob Hilliard today as Lawyer of the Year. Congratulations to him.